my family will call me by my preferred name only to make fun of me. Basically the title, I, 18F, started going by a different name when I was about 14 or 15. I always felt that my birth name was not me and it made me feel uncomfortable. X, if my name was Lorraine, I would like my name to be Layla or Leah. I only recently built up the courage to express this to my peers, friends, and family. I was so glad when I figured out that my university had an option for preferred names. It is my name on my student ID, my mailbox, my homework assignments, etc. It makes me feel very happy and confident in my choice. My new name feels like me now, but my family only makes fun of me because of this. Now that I'm at home for the holidays, it has only gotten worse. For example, Whenever I'm on the phone with friends, they call me by my birth name very loudly and follow it up with that's your name, not anything else. I end up muting myself because I don't want my friends to find out and be confused. I informed them that I will be on the phone beforehand and they still do this. My sisters would take my school ID out of my wallet and say this isn't your name. Your name is birth name, and laugh at me. When ordering food, I place orders under my preferred name and my dad laughs and says WHO. I don't know anyone with that name. And everyone present laughs me. This also happens if I ever get a professional phone call around him. When my sister's friends come over, they say hi but say my preferred name in a mocking tone and laugh at me. I expressed interest in formally changing my name but my mom told me that I could not until I was financially stable. Even though I researched the costs and the proper paperwork to do it myself without her help, she still will not let me. Worst of all, even when I'm not doing slash saying anything, it is always a joke to them. Any advice on what to do would be appreciated. Thank you. Edit, didn't expect this post to get so much attention. Replying to as many as I can for right now. I appreciate your advice even if I didn't comment on it. Thank you. Exclamation mark. If I had to write a step by step of how to get my daughter slash sibling to never speak to me again this is pretty much it. They sound like they resent the fact that you hate the name they gave you and want to change it. They are clearly being immature and passive aggressive, but it would still probably make sense to have a frank discussion with them about the name change, maybe with a family therapist as a neutral moderator. You could ignore them any time they call your your birth name. Only respond to your preferred name, and say that you didn't know who they were calling for, since your name is preferred name. This is very petty, so only do this if you're confident your parents won't kick you out or pull their financial support for important things in the future. Or be like don't you know birth name died three years ago, with a serious tone. Change it legally and tell them to go fuck themselves. Good luck. Covid, GF of almost 7 years, and her air diseases. Hi all, I've found myself struggling intensely lately with emotions pertaining to my GF and items generally relating to her family, her well-being, and the effects on me. For background, we've been together almost 7 years. Quite happily for the whole time. 2.5 years ago she got diagnosed with a fairly rare autoimmune disorder. Whether related to poor treatment or the disorder itself, 6 months later I found her nearly dead from what came to be another rare disease. Fungal meningitis related to valley fever that we didn't know she hadn't flourished with her low immune system. The next 1.5 years she had 12 brain surgeries, other hard treatment, and was told in February this year if the last surgery didn't work that she would be moved to hospice and that's all could be done for her. However it worked. Yay science and hard working doctors saved her life and she continues to recover and do great. Literally getting out of the hospital as covid was taking over in March. What remains to be said is the mental toll it took on me. It's hard to explain to anyone what she has gone through. It's amazing to truly see what she dealt with and how she dealt with it. During the time I continuously prepared myself for what I couldn't bear to see happen. And it didn't thankfully. However I never had good outlets to speak about this stuff. Now in this covid world, she has been told by doctors that it if she got this, 
it would certainly have the odds stacked against her. They told her she would most certainly lose the fight. She spent six straight months in the hospital to come out and not be able to participate in the world, which is truly awful. She has still gone to family functions, which is where this issue I'm struggling with is stemming from. Her family has been very loud and pronounced on their thoughts about masks and their ineffectiveness. They are nice people, very known in the community, and do quite a lot of good. But the selfish behavior about masks hurt me, especially because they constantly have events with large numbers of people, 20 plus at their house. Only one person has gotten sick with it and none since. I'm not a betting man so gambling like this feels ridiculous and very lucky for them. IGF and I have talked and found it best we forego any functions to protect us both. However usually within a week or two she goes against it and goes to her family functions. This has led to tough discussions. With Thanksgiving she wants to go to her family's large gathering. While I'll end up giving in to her going. I just can't ever believe her family will take any of this seriously until she ends up with it or someone else does in their immediate family. I feel as if she's the sacrificial lamb. And all of this kills me as I spent over two years next to her fighting tough diseases, to see her finally win out and then have this continually loom overhead. Maybe it's my own struggles with mortality, but I find myself losing patience, kindness, and what feels like love for her as she continually throws herself into these situations. Maybe I'm selfish and wrong in my approach but I don't want to lose her to this. But I guess I kinda am already. Edit, update, came home from work. We sat down to talk and I explained my feelings again. She stood where she wanted to and that was on the grounds of she's going to whatever she feels. With no regards to how I feel. No discussion whatsoever. She is unconcerned about the virus and fairly unconcerned with what I felt. Could definitely she it in her demeanor. For the first time in seven years I was looking at someone I didn't know. Guess the writing was on the wall. She packed up what she could and left. I definitely feel broken. Not as sad as I thought I'd be, but I guess I'll try to take one day at a time. Thanks to you all for reading and offering advice. I think I knew coming here was indicating we were at the end point anyway given how much we've been through already. Not that there was a bad reason to come here. It was I think delaying the inevitable. 2020 sucks. Edit X2. Even more of you sent me kind words overnight and throughout the day. I can't even begin to express my appreciation to you all. So thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday week despite the circumstances we all are dealing with. She did come to get her stuff today. I left work early with an important understanding from my colleague guess what was occurring. It certainly hit me the hardest then. But I realized with many of the kind words you all helped me with that this was not a time of anger but a time of responsibility towards our own choices. While I do not agree with hers, there was a weight lifted on much of the stress that had certainly affected me negatively. Still love her, she made me a better person. But maybe this can be a peaceful transition into our next stages of life. It'll be 37 in a couple of weeks, I've dreaded it. But maybe now I can realize that it's not something to be afraid of and maybe something to start off new somehow and some way. So thanks again for the kindness. I appreciate those of you whom expressed it the way you could. Heart, You are so kind and strong. I hope she listens to you. You are exhausted from taking care of her for years. And I'm sure she's exhausted from continually being sick and finally wants the time to relax and let loose. Timing sucks but this is ridiculously selfish. This would be unforgivable to me. She's being selfish and ridiculously stupid. Tell her that you did not spend years watching her get better just to throw it all out over a few parties. TBH this is almost a deal breaker level of selfishness for me. Be upfront and assertive. Loving someone does not mean you have to watch them destroy themselves. Is she going to these events because of peer pressure or she doesn't believe in COVID? What are your long-term plans with her? Marriage? Kids? If it's peer pressure, you must make your ground now or her family will influence all your interactions in the future. If she doesn't believe in COVID, you really need to reevaluate your relationship with her especially since she is alive because of the medical team. You need to have a serious talk with her, tell her you won't go, period. You have to show her how serious you are. Also talk to her doctor maybe they could knock some sense into her. And ask them about the current vaccine. Is it good for your wife to take it with her medical history? I don't know what else to say, good luck. 
You are absolutely not selfish. Her family is incredibly selfish and probably manipulative. She should not have to risk her life for Thanksgiving. Please stay home. Please please please. What a fucking moron. Her family is dumb as fuck too. Sorry for your loss, but you're better off. I'm a morbidly obese virgin, 21M. Do I have any chance with her, 23F? I know the answer is probably no, but I wanted to make this post anyway. I weigh 29 stone, 410 pounds, and I'm 5 feet 11 inches. I left school at 16 with no qualifications and since then have never had a job. I just stayed at home playing video games. I have been fat all my life, food is my comfort and obviously I eat way too much. My mum lost her job due to corona and my older brother left home so I was forced to get a job. I started on the same day as this girl who is 23. She is both a day I fucked up and skinny. She was the only one who made effort with me at the beginning. I am very very shy and most people ignore me because of my weight. I have developed a huge crush on her. She sits with me most days for lunch and we send each other memes and stuff. She is one of the few girls who doesn't seem to be disgusted or treat me any different because of my weight. She is quite a bit more experienced in life than I am, she has a degree, has had jobs, partners etc. I feel like a kid in comparison. The job is quite physical and I struggle sometimes. She helps me in a way that isn't patronizing. I have worked there one month now and I have lost 10 pounds, but obviously I have a long way to go. I wish I could lose weight quicker but I need food to get through the day at work. I feel motivated for the first time ever though. I don't know if she knows I like her. I have never had a crush like this before and I don't know what to do. I get very jealous if other guys flirt with her. I am not attractive obviously, and there's no real reason why she would like me. She has not shown any signs she wants more than friendship, but tbh I wouldn't know what those signs were. I'm a kissless virgin. Should I even bother, or should I wait till I lose the weight before asking her? TLDR, I like a girl way ye out of my league. I'm an obese kissless virgin, she is older, experienced and very pretty. You already lost 10 pounds, not a bad start. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I think you should focus on your own health right now and don't lose weight because of her. Do it for yourself. It will greatly improve the quality of life. My GF was a bit overweight and she started a diet and she had an incredible willpower not to quit. She wasn't obese but after losing 15 kilograms in 3 months she feels more free. She gets so excited when she finds some of her old clothes and they fit her now. But I digress, you need to lose weight for yourself not because of a girl, the most probable outcome if you confess right now is that she rejects you and you two will feel awkward working together and stop being friends, if that happens you'll either lose your motivation to lose weight or motivate you even more to lose weight and find someone else but you'll have one less friend. Wish you the best and I hope my comment helps you, I'm not trying to fat shame or anything bad like that, cheers. It sounds like a great friendship with the potential to become more, but I think I would wait longer than a month. The other thing to consider is how you will feel if you tell her and then she isn't interested. Can you still do your job with all this in the background? Also workplace relationships are normalized in many places and can be fine, but be mindful of relevant sexual harassment laws that might apply if you ask her out. I don't want to sound patronizing at all, but 21 is still young and I know a ton of people who hadn't had sex by then, so don't beat yourself up so much for being behind.